All right, so after my Apple Watch Series 3 took a really nasty fall, I stopped using it. And the Series 5, um, my wife started using that. So in my original Apple Watch, um, it uh, I don't use it. It's just not good on batteries. So I picked up the iPhone SE, second generation, because I'm not one to spend too much on these watches. So pretty nice packaging how they do it. The iPhone SE second generation now comes in the midnight color and it comes in a different color as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I decided to run over and get the midnight with this nice band here. Because why not? All right, nice packaging. And what is this here? This is the charger. So we'll need this, so we'll take this out. And then here's the watch. Obviously this is the 44 millimeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a walkthrough for you. Here's the watch, pretty nice. And they, they redid the back on it, they say. So, oh yeah, they redid it. This is the back on my Series 3. And they also redid the back on the um, the first generation. For, uh, this is different from the first generation, but here it is, um, really nice. Yes, I do have Apple Care. I tend to put Apple Care on everything that I can. And Apple Care for me is it doesn't cost a lot, so that's why I just tend to go ahead and get it uh, because I trust Apple. I trust them uh, to go ahead and take care of me if I have a problem. And here's how the watch band is gonna come out to you. Some instruction manuals or something like that. And, here we go, and there it is. Oh yeah, wow, this is pretty nice. I haven't purchased a Apple Watch since the Series 5. So you can imagine how excited I am to finally get in a new watch. Let's put this aside, I'll use that in a little bit. So here is the band. Now, obviously I like this style of band because I have it on my GTR4. I think this is a huge plus on how you do your bands. So I like it like that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, slide this in, silver side down, I believe. All right, so here's the watch. Um, gonna see if it has a little bit so we can sync it to the, uh, Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. I haven't used the Apple Watch in so long, I'm trying to figure out how to turn it on. <laughs> it's a shame, there you go, hold there. Hold this big button right here. Uh, so one thing about this, everyone's going crazy for the um, Series 8 and the Ultra. I'm not going crazy for it because even though I get a big discount on Apple products, I'm not excited to spend $800 on a watch just because it's getting two to three two to three days of of battery, uh, and I, that's just not my thing. That's just not my thing. So I like how this is right here. I like how this is. I just like how Apple does their their products for the most part. It is very simple and easy to set up. Uh, and this is what it's going to be like for you once you take your Apple Watch out of the box, uh, and it's going to. Um, do the do this easy setup right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up here. I'll do a, I'll grab a screen recording for because I like how it goes into the island. I grab a screen recording for social media if it'll allow me to do so. So let's continue. You can see it's recording up there. I uh, set it up for myself, and we're gonna scan the watch. There we go. Apple Watch is paired. Restore from backup. Let's set up new. Um, I wear it on my left. So again, I'm going through this. It's been a while since I have had and I've gotten a, a new Apple Watch. Again, the last watch that I got was the Series 5. And so I'm not expecting stellar battery life, uh, but I am expecting some really good battery life. So as this goes through the setup, um, is connecting now back in the day. I remember I think I, I think you used to have to put your um, watch on a um, On the charger for it to uh, Actually do it uh, get going, but I guess not anymore 
So I won't, I won't bore you with all this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get this all set up, agree to these terms and stuff, and then I'll be back and we'll walk through this thing. All right, so it's, it's definitely been a long time since I had an Apple Watch because the cable is type C. <laughs> so here's the watch, I tried it on, I like the fit. Uh, I've got a little bit more room to get this over my, my big old fist here than the GTR4. GTR4 uses uh, the same type of band. Uh, it just doesn't have that. So hit the crown here. I choose the list view because I like to see the wording on each one. I don't like scrolling through the other way. So um, this is how mine is set up right here. So these are all the applications and everything that you have in here that you can do. I pretty much, I didn't do a backup. I went on ahead and just did a, a new install and I see it picked up some of my apps like my banking and everything, uh, my Roku, my Pandora and everything. It's it's gonna be pretty nice. My music, I love the messaging app, the maps, everything. FedEx is in there too. Okay, so it did pick up a few apps that I had on here. So uh, if you swipe up, you can see here. Yeah, the watch came pretty, pretty charged up pretty good. So you got 94%. You got your find my right there. You can find the phone. You can turn off your sound right there, notifications and everything. You got your walkie talkie. Every time I've tried to walkie talkie with someone, they freaking don't have it turned on. <laughs> I don't understand that. Uh, so then you got right there, theater mode. Let's cancel that. Do not disturb. You got your flashlight. This is a pretty bright light depending on, you know what I'm saying, like where you are. Uh, and then you got your airplane mode. Spit the water out. All right, okay, okay. Press and hold to get rid of water. Let's go back though. Nope, I don't wanna do that. Let's go back, let's go. Okay, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, ejecting water. It's pretty dope, I know. Yeah, I got no water in there though. Uh, and you got your font size, your cast and everything, and then your hearing there. So that's what happens when you swipe uh, up. You swipe down, you can see here, you got everything there. Swipe this way, you swipe this way. Let's long press. And here is where I can add some more watch faces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over here real quick. And let's go to the watch faces. Man, I can tell you, it's been so long since I had a watch face. Like I had, a, I'm, excuse me, I bought an Apple watch. It's incredible, man. This is, this is crazy. So all these different ones. Let me see, I need to go, I need to go and, and buy some, uh, buy some more or go into the store and get some more watch faces so let's go in the face gallery and here's all the watch faces that they have currently right here that i can get now this is the default one um i'm definitely not really a fan of that so i like the activity ones this was actually my favorite one right here like i i, I had this one for for everything i literally put that watch that watch face right there on everything man this was the watch face i went to with everything let me adjust this band a little bit I don't want it too tight. Have you seen these people online wearing their watches like super tight and then they're reporting that they're getting bruised and stuff? Well, loosen up your band, man. That's crazy. So um, you got your watch faces right here. You got more watch faces, more watch faces, more watch faces, more watch faces. These are some kind of these watch faces are kind of boring. That's why I pretty much just use the um, the uh, regular watch faces with information on them. I like to have information on the watch face itself. Like this infograph, that's pretty tight right there. Just something that's gonna give me, just make my life a little easier, like useful, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, and I do, uh, I like fitness, so that's kind of why I, you know, would prefer that. But I like these little new ones right here too. I've never seen these before. Again, it's been a long time since I used the Apple Watch, uh, but I'm pretty sure these probably aren't new. I just haven't seen them in some time because, yeah. Now, shout out to them for putting the Nike watch faces on a non-white Nike watch. I was going to get the Nike version, the Nike watch edition, but I was like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? The faces are now uh, on the other one, so you can have the Nike compilation compilation on here, too. That's pretty That's pretty nice. They got them all on here, too. I didn't know they put them all. That's nice. Yeah, that's real nice right there. I like that. They got them all on there. Pretty nice. I got all this I mean, right now, that pride stuff. Um, all of these, right? Got the solar joint. Man, they got a lot of stuff on here, man. It's been a long time since I fired up a, a, a Apple Watch, man. Because, like I said, when I broke, when mine broke, uh, I just didn't even think twice about it. So, I'll probably stick with these ones that are 
giving me some information. I want information on mine. Uh, I remember they call them comp. Um, uh, what do they call them? Comp compilations or something. I forgot what it was naming it, but yeah, this is pretty nice. A nice modular one. But I'm pretty ecstatic on here to to get it. And I do like on the other Apple Watch you can change you can uh, change it to night mode and stuff like that by having it down like that. So you can see it automatically took my heart rate down there. Uh, I'm pretty chill for the most part. I, I work out. I'm not obese uh, and um, I pretty much try to take care of my health. So that's it right now. It went up. I was a little bit more relaxed, obviously, a few minutes ago. But you can do a lot from what the Apple Watch is, man. You can control a lot of stuff. You can control your music. Um, you can pretty much, uh, you can do a lot of stuff from your phone on your on your watch. Like, here's today's verse. You know what I mean? Like, this is very nice. I don't have to open my phone if I don't want to. Uh, and I think that's that's a nice touch. Uh, but smartwatches are still, you know, they still sidekicks that are very expensive. Uh, and, you know, that's just what it is. If you want an expensive sidekick, Apple's got you covered just like a lot of other places do. Uh, so um, you got your calculator. I like getting in here using this. This is very useful. I guess one thing I like about the Apple watches is that the stuff seems right in your face. It's, it's simple, just like my phone, I guess. But the difference is with Apple watches, you can't store music on the watch. I believe, I don't think you can do that still, but my other watches, this is my, my, um, my wa uh, Samsung watch pro five pro. You can do it. You can store, uh, music on the GTR watches. You can store music directly on a lot of these watches. I don't think the Apple watch can do it. Now, one cool thing is being able to control um, the, uh, being able to control the camera. So let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the camera and I can control the camera. You see that? I can get, I can see it right there. That's, that's just sweet. Ain't that crazy right there? I love that, man. I love it. You literally can control the camera from here and you know, you could be on some old weirdo stuff if you wanted to, but I don't suggest that you do that. <laughs> I don't suggest you do that. Uh oh, I don't want to record, but yeah, you can control your camera remotely. I think that's pretty tight. Uh, you got your compass, you got your contacts, uh, cycle tracking women, ladies, you can, uh, you can do that. Uh, my, my airline, obviously I fly Delta and, uh, I think it's still loading some of the stuff on here. Cause, uh, yeah, I definitely use, uh, lows and all of these. I like the map still being able to, um, use maps on my wrist. I think that's pretty sweet. I remember back in the days, uh, I forgot who was telling me about being able to control their, um, garage door opener and stuff like that with their, with their phone. Those are all really nice. Uh, but you know, I, I, I just feel like I only want to do so much on my wrist. I want a bigger screen and, um, yeah, that's it. I like that you can change your emojis right on your watch too. I'm telling you, what's the name? They got to get it in order. Uh, other watch brands, I ain't gonna shine on you too much, but you got to get it in order because your phone, your uh, what's the names are trash, man. They, <laughs> the emojis and all that stuff, they are garbage, garbage. They don't, they don't look right, man. It looks stupid. Uh, <laughs> it looks stupid on there, man. So, yeah, I'm feeling this. I gotta find a good, good watch face that's gonna um be to my liking uh and then you know i'll be happy with it man but for now this is let me see if this watch face can use the crown oh it's moving okay you can adjust the the it's making the numbers like real skinny you see that and it's making them bigger so it's dumb some interaction right there that's pretty dope yeah that's pretty dope it's dope yeah i like this it's your recent right there but for me, it's going to be the the fitness portion of it. I do pay for the Apple uh, suite where I'm paying for all of it. TV, fitness, all in one, which I think is nice. Uh, so let's see. Let's go in settings real quick. Yeah, pretty much uh, same thing, man. It's been so long. I, I got to get back on my Apple game because I have not. That's my alarm system. I think that's pretty nice. Let me see if it's signed in. I used to have a lot of problems with my Apple Watch with it signing in to certain applications and it just would never sign in for some reason. It just wouldn't do it. 
And I have no idea why it wouldn't do it, but it just wouldn't do it. See? I mean, oh, there we go. All right. I spoke too soon. So, yeah, I need to turn my alarm uh, on. Let's see. Let me see here. Okay, let's set it. Let's set it to home. It's arming. You can't hear it. But it's arming. Yeah, it's it's armed now. It just armed. Okay, all right. So they okay they doing a little something something. My other Ufi security system. Where is that at? Because this is the stuff I'm. If I'm not when I'm not doing fitness, there's my garage. Let me see if my garage. This was one on my other Apple Watches, my Series Three and my Five. It just didn't work. It did not. It did not want to do it. So it says, "Please sign in on your phone." I'm already signed in. I don't know why it's telling me that. Let me see here. Oh, confirm. Look at this. Okay. All right. So, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll do that later. But yeah, so it does work. That's beast mode. And then my truck is right here. I should be able to start and stop my truck. And my Cadillac one, I know here. There's my Eufy security joint. No devices yet. I don't know why it's doing that. Apple Watch uh, supports smart lock controls. Get out. All right, Dan. All right, Dan. Okay, that's cool. But nonetheless, man, I got the uh, Apple Watch second generation SE, and I think I'm gonna like this, man. I'm 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 pretty excited to to get it in and and, and get going with it to pair pair it up with my with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. But this is what I decided to go with, man. Like I said, no knock on the people who got the Ultra. Uh, but I'm not, I, you know, I, I'm not that impressed to where Apple's, I don't want them to trick me too much, you know, because, you know, um, yeah, I, I don't want to spend $800 just to get battery that I should be getting anyway. Um, and even though I, as with my military and government discount, I don't pay 800 bucks for it. I pay a lot less. I still didn't want to do it because you can imagine how much I got this SE second generation for. So, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to try to save as much as possible. And this is just a sidekick. So uh, I'll follow up on this with battery life. That's going to be the most important thing. I follow up on with this for you is battery life. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a walkthrough of my brand new uh, Apple Watch SE second generation. I love the midnight. I, 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 I love how it looks in midnight. It looks really nice, man. I, I like it a lot. And I also follow up on the fitness you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how that goes too. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.